guys, welcome back to Warframe. We're going to take a look at the incubator. As you can see we've got our Kubo egg here. Then we need to get the incubator power core. Let's take a look at the foundry. As you can see here we need uh, some materials, nano nanospores, control modules and argon crystals. Now these are not easy to find. Um, the nanospores come from uh, Saturn and the control module and argon crystals come from um, the void. So um, there's a bit of work in getting to those two locations so I guess we need to work our way across the star map to get to those locations. Um, I suppose the alternative is you buy the uh, power core from the market with platinum. but. Uh, I'm not going to do it that way. So let's work out how to get there. So from Earth, we have to go up to the, through, through the Mars Junction. So you can see there we need to complete SUSI on Mercury. Which is the final step to open the Mars Junction. Let's have a look on Mercury. So Susie's on the left hand side there. We just have to work our way across this way and do that Susie mission and then we'll be able to unlock the pathway to Mars and that'll take us through to um, the Void and uh, Saturn eventually. So on Mars uh, we need to then work our way across to Phobos Junction which will take us to the void. I go through these nodes on the right here and then open up Phobos Junction. So from Phobos, you can see up the top there we can work our way up to the top left and go across to the void. That's where we can get our argon crystals and control modules from. So go across that way through here to the void. The void you can see uh, yeah, from Phobos we go to Teshub. So that's what we need to work to. Also uh, from down here we can work through the middle through this way and go around to Ceres Junction. And Ceres will take us through to yep, Ceres here. We'll go away around to Jupiter. So we can come down this path here. Go across to Jupiter Junction. Skip across to Jupiter. And work our way around this path around the right hand side here, go around to the Saturn Junction. So Saturn's where we get our um, nanospores from. So you know it's a fair bit of playthrough to get, get through those stages. Yeah, into here. And then these, these locations here will drop the nanospores. Alright, so that's what we need to do. So we'll start back at Mercury. As you can see I've um, done the nodes through to the Susie station. And then we just complete this mission first. Your mission is to break into enemy data vaults and steal any intelligence files you find. Okay, so we're completing this mission.
Death Relic. Okay, so once that's done, we'll go back to our star map. Go to that uh, Earth to Mars junction. So that's all complete. So we need to do Eurasia here to get to that point. So let me just do that one. Okay, that one's done. And now we can open up Mars Junction. Let's go in and take a look. Ability. I'll go back and let my shields regenerate. He slowed me with his ice attack. Let's wait for the shield to come back. Nearly down. There we go. Let's open the junction. Got some codex scanners as well. Operator, is that a a void relic segment? Ordis hasn't seen one of those in well forever. Okay, void relic segment. We can uh, install that. So let's take a look where we are. So now we're in the Mars area. So we can work our way to around the Phobos. Let's go and install that uh, Void Relic segment down the back here. Void Relics. What a baffling concept. Ordis will try to understand Void Relics again. They say the contents of a relic are simultaneously this thing or this thing or this thing, but also that thing, and certainly never just one thing. That is, until... until it's exposed to a void fissure? And at that point, all the possibilities collapse, each one falling away until the relic cracks open and exposes one singular thing. Then, against all tenets of logic, that thing becomes the only thing the relic ever contained. <sighs> what a load of... Ordis prefers known quantities. Thank you very much. Alright, sounds like a description of the uncertainty principle. Okay, let's move on. Ok, 
Okay, let's go back to Mars. So now we need to work our way across the right here to Phobos Junction. Alright, so now we've done that. You see we've opened up along the right hand side there. So to open Phobos Junction we need to do three Lith Void Relics. We need to open three Lith Void Relics and scan three Cephalon Fragments. So the Void Relics we can do at the bottom there. Okay, let's equip our scanners. So we need Codex scanners to scan the Cephalon Fragments. We equip those in the gear panel. All right, that's all done. Ah, what do we got here? The furious weapon. Let's collect that and equip it. No, it's not a primary weapon. Okay. Must be secondary. There it is. Let's see if we can upgrade it. So we can put one of these four cards into the uh to the hyphen slot there. It'll halve its capacity. Heated charge, okay. Radio, let's go and do some void, void relic cracking. So up here on the flame. Excavation mission. I'll just go to pick any old relic, it doesn't really matter which ones you open, you just need to open three of them. And we've got some uh, team members too. So I've got it on the public group joining at the moment, which is good. It's handy when you try and open relics, get extra players. We're here in search of lost artifacts and items buried deep below the surface. The scanner has picked up a target. Go to the dig site. There are void fissures in the area. Use these to crack open a relic. Another power cell for the excavator. The They're dropping reactants. Is the reactant Use it to here? crack open a relic. The reactant is working on your relic. Find you more. need to pick up uh, ten of these reactants that drop on the floor here. has lost power. Find another cell. The relic has been cracked open. Finish your mission to find out what's inside. Dig complete. Your hard work has just been rewarded. Extraction is now available. Okay, we can see what we get from our relic. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Let's go with Mesa Prime. It's a, it's a silver reward. Let's crack another one. Has run 
unit of power. Find a cell. Maybe one more reactor. Excavation equipment. Look what we found. That's it. You opened the relic. Finish your mission and we'll take a look inside. Excavator is ready to go. Keep it powered and protected from enemy fire. Look what we just uncovered. Okay, so we've got uh, Titania Prime Blueprint. Let's choose that one, Silver Reward. Formers are good too, you need formers to uh, upgrade your gear. Okay, let's uh, pick another one. Prime. We've got another Mesa piece, so that'll be good. Okay, we can do another one, or we can just bug out. Let's do one more. We can do this on the way out, I suppose. and we'll take a look inside. Okay, so we can probably jump out at this point. Get to the uh, complete. Look what we found. Get to the extraction. Let's go for the silver again, the Orthus Prime. Here we'll just choose uh, no relic, which indicates that we want to leave. the exit. Cool. So completing those three uh, void relics will get us uh, most of the way towards opening the uh, Phobos Junction.
I've got a lot of mods. It's quite a good good haul. And they're good missions, you get a lot of stuff, a lot of resources, a lot of mods. So um, that'll be the end of this episode guys. We'll uh, continue on our journey to the Void and Saturn uh, next episode. And then we'll complete the uh, incubator power core. So we need three cephalon fragments. So we'll see you next time.